Bismillah, alhamdulillah, you're watching the mailbox. And I'm Yusuf Estes. We have a website for you. It's called islammailbox.com. That's a great place for you to go to ask your questions and get answers. And also do follow up on some of these little short programs that we're doing called the mailbox. Let's get right into it. It says, this question is coming in. Can a Muslim marry a non-Muslim? Can a Muslim marry a non-Muslim? Uh, and first of all, you're talking about also about the Catholic Church, etc. I won't read the whole thing, but the Catholic Church does not allow Catholics to marry outside of their religion. Zero. That's it. Even to another Christian, it's not permitted. However, in Islam, it is permitted for all Muslims to marry all Muslims, regardless if they are, let us say, from Hanafi or Shafi or from the different schools of fiqh. There's no problem if they would like to marry from them, and we don't need a permission for that or anything. The other thing is that Islam does not allow the believers to marry non-believers, but it does permit the believing Muslims to marry from the believing Jews and Christians, provided it's the man, the male Muslim, marrying a female from the Jews and Christians. The reason for this is to ensure that the children are brought up in the religion of Islam, and it's uh, also hoped that the wife would have a good chance to learn about Islam and perhaps accept Islam herself, although there is no forcing on her to accept Islam. So this is the reason for that. We got this one just came in. What is an infidel exactly? We hear about this word in the Quran about infidels, kill all the infidels, and Jews and Christians are infidels too. Okay, that's not true. Your question is not right. An infidel. I don't know the word that you're talking about in the Quran because this is actually from Latin. It means one who is untrue. So... If you mean a disbeliever, then that is one in Arabic called a kafir. What is kafir? Kafir means to cover up something. Literally, to uh, cover anything is the act of kafara. So whoever knows the truth and covers it up is a kafir. But there are many other words there too, such as monafik, mushrikeen, um, someone who is uh, monafik, one who is uh, fasik. There are many terms that people use in Arabic and just call it all infidel, and that's not true. Go to our website and type that in, and you'll get the answers right there. The website's called islammailbox.com. Until then, salam alaikum, peace be with you. Mm -hmm.